Hello, welcome to my video on Firefall. I'm just going to be showing you around and give you an idea about what it is at the current stage it's at, which is basically alpha. It's a uh, it's called beta, but it's very, very, very buggy game. Um, it's like it's a crash kind of at any moment, now to some extent. Um, when you do crash, you respawn here, which is the same place you respawn when you die. So this is I can't I can't believe it's called now. Basically, there's places like this are around everywhere, and they have a battle frame station for mucking around with battle frame. No, battle frame, garage if I can remember battle frame, sorry. That just changes between the different battle frames. And so this is the roof of the place, and here... The squad of Chosen right. have taken an accord refining plant and broken shores. I'm not sure if they want the Christite or if they want to cripple us, or both. Boss, I'm picking up a massive energy signature inside the structure. I think the Chosen have a bomb with them. TransHub is reporting that data tablets containing sensitive technical information were taken by the Chosen during a raid last night. Yeah, so at the moment, the idea behind it is that instead of going to a person with an exclamation mark above the head, getting a quest and doing the quest, things happen near you. And if you're in that area, they'll go, dude, you're here, you should help us out with this problem. Um, which is a really nice idea, and it often works, but I find the voiceovers really annoying um, because they kind of tend to point out the obvious. Um, like you go, so the, the best way, the best way I tend to do it is first thing I do is when I get respawn when this place is press M. This is the map, which is it's improved a lot recently. Um, this shows stuff. So that one's flashing red because. Uh, a chosen strike team is trying, currently trying to try take it over. That's just a random thing that's happened. So I'm at um, Watchtower of Broken Shores. So sorry, these are Watchtowers. And, no, not Watchtowers, are they? So well, there are, so there's Watchtowers and there's a central kind of place. Broken Shores is a place, and currently doesn't have a lot of new power. Whereas Cocobana is where everyone starts, and it's basically the hub place. So things on the map that are purple are kind of things I can do. So that's a mission. Um, the ones missions I've done so far have mostly been basically destroy a nest of alien spider things. Um, so I don't really know what they could go into. They, 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 basically on, the, on in that area of the map there will be a structure that is obviously designed by the developers to be an area for a mission. And so okay, you'll be told that you can go there and do things. So it's a mission that kind of exists. Um, and they're kind of totally quite randomly and there's no one over here that's but yeah. There's also the crash at LGV is basically a vehicle on the ground and um, people want to steal the data from it. So you can get, come along to it and bring a drone down and that will get the data from it and you'll be attacked by bandits while you're doing that. So it's a case of defending it. So this is probably get captured. It's not a very nice area actually, it's really um, it's got a lot of um, when I was last there, I had a lot of problems with going through scenery and stuff, and kind of hollow rocks. So I'm not really keen to defend it, to be honest. It's also not another area's machine yet. So I can zoom in on this area. So those are just NPCs. But they've got the same kind of battle suits, basically the same capabilities as you. The AI is very really good though, at the moment. It doesn't look like there's anything interesting we're going to have. Ah, so here's so near, near Kokobana, there's a couple of thumpers. That one's not labelled for some reason. Okay, they're both not labelled for some reason. I think it's because I'm not near enough to tell that what they're thumping for. Thump, thumping is what most people do to get resources, um, which is you hit the ground with a big hammer. <laughs> for some reason, a big hammer, I don't know why. You can also use hammers as weapons, it's kind of weird. Kind of kind of cool. um, and it will tell you if there's resources there. You put a beacon down, thumper comes down, well, actually, yeah, that's the weird thing. You, you technically, it says in your inventory, you're carrying the thumper, but you put a beacon down, and then thing basically comes down from some kind of aerial dropship. It starts mining there, you get attacked, you have to defend it. Um, people often do their own ones and also defend other people's ones, and, and you can get better rewards from squad thumpers, which presumably make more noise, therefore attracting more uh, creatures, but obviously are better at doing what they do. So I think I'm going to try and go, go over this crash LGB because that's quite fun sometimes. 
Van Nuys Eisenberger. So yeah, so I just left click to my payment set waypoint. And then you can go left click. It's a really nice way of doing it actually. I quite like that part of it. And you can also I don't know why you want yeah, you can do that apparently. It's very much based on this in uh, in games. Uh, you press C, you bring up this menu. This allows you to switch um, what five does. So if you look down the bottom, um, I've got these. So get out of this. All these different things. So these, the first four are abilities, and they're relatively static. Although you can muck around with them in the garage and upgrade them and stuff. Um, but the fifth one is various things. So. In, under resource gathering, there's a thumper, which I don't know how many I've got left, I should have used them all by now, but it's a bit dodgy at the moment. I think you might game limited ones or not. And the scan hammer. So I currently got a scan hammer, which does this. Okay, it should have done something, but it decided not to. Oh, there you go, you heard the noise, you can see the crack, but. <laughs> okay, that's really random. Yeah, so I'm gonna go somewhere, like I said, I'm gonna set away for that, haven't I? Yeah, I think that the other weapon I made overrun this. So there you go, I can see it in the distance now. And I'm going to use this glider pad to try and get there faster. But I'd rather you use it, you've got to fly down a lot. Otherwise, if you try and kind of go straight, it will make you fly down. And that can be problematic because you'll basically crash into the floor. It doesn't hurt you, it tends to, but. So I can get quite close to it using this method. Uh, if I'm careful, but. Yeah. But the rest of the way, I'll go for this sprint. Just holding down shift. Uh, it's daytime at the moment, so it's lovely and bright. I think it's a pretty beautiful looking world. My computer is from 2007, so it's um, hardly up to date. And so it doesn't run it amazingly well. You know, I've, had, I've got most settings on quite low. But I still think it looks pretty nice. Um, it's certainly quite like bright and beautiful. Oh, okay, here's some. These are, really, really, really. These are the enemies. That's that's one of the annoying things I find is a lot of um, the enemy damage is based on the area of the damage. And see they dropped an arrow of power and crystal. So um, it's not kind of Diablo style. It's meant to be on the big kind of drawers, but also it's a bit controversial. Is that you don't drop? They never drop weapons or items or of any kind of real, well, I drop items. They never drop weapons or anything that you can use directly. Rather, they'll drop crystallite, which is basically coins. It's a resource. Um, it's technically a resource, but it's mostly. Oh, so it is another player who's going to help me out, presumably. Or. Yep. Yeah, okay. Well, well, well. Looks like we found a crystallite runner. If you don't plunder that loot, I'm I sure some other dude here. will. Huh. Okay. I don't actually know what happened there. I don't know if he chose to self-destruct it or... But yeah, that's kind of annoying. Alright, well, someone's thumping for toxins over here, so I'll go and join them. I mean, thumping's... Ah, oh, so this is interesting as well. Is this, um, this is basically a nest that comes out the ground. And if you damage it, Things start coming out of it. In this case, these are their hisses. Right. It can be quite tough on their own, actually. Um, he seems to be coping well. He's uh, on the heavy kind of class. I'm, I'm a medic. I look like this. I've got a little jet there. You don't have a lot of control of the, the appearance of your character at the moment. The faces are basically but ugly, um, apart from the ones you can get with um, currency. So it seems very restricted at the moment, but I'm guessing there's going to be some decent-ish appearance options for um, people who um, don't pay. Uh, for free players. At some point, but at the moment, they haven't bothered really going for them much. So someone's thumping over here. It seems like a strange word, really. I'll show, I'll show you, might be, I'm going to show you the hammer. Okay, yeah, for some reason the hammer's not actually showing, but this is what happens. Um, you get a report. See, that's not really good, I feel. 33% toxins, it's, it's not terrible. Um, 
so it's supposed to sift uh, this. I can see what they're trying to pull potentially by hammering right here over there. It's gone up now. Ooh, what was that? For some reason it's not staying around. There was something interesting. That says activated carbon or something? Yeah, yeah interesting. See, Fumper says 89%, so it's been damaged a bit. Um, basically, when it gets to 100%, it will stop mining, and then you can click on it. Well, press E on it, and send it off. Send it away. So, it's all Fumpers, which is quite interesting. If you're in the squad that um, is looking out for Fumper, I'm just casually helping this dude. Um, and I will get rid of that automatically um, when it goes flying up. But in a squad comper, you could um, any member of the squad could send it out, so they can have to control over it. No matter who actually put the comper down, it could be useful because if you're getting really overwhelmed, you'll probably want to just send it out before it gets burst. Have it because it's not full, then be destroyed. <laughs> so it says he's. Oh yeah, he's an engineer guy. Uh, most uh, when, you know, when I uh, played early on, I was in a group of people defending bumpers, and yeah, basically they'll put down turrets and turrets. Can be um, a lot of people play engineers and basically put down turrets, and you don't have to worry much. They are very good at covering an area and do a decent bit of damage to keep them out. So insect. Oh, there it is. Now, sector weapons and shotgun. Um, it's not quite easy. This is the only thing I've actually crafted so far, really. Uh, by default, the um, sector of the world is a high tech. Fell up, especially in my class, is the uh, grenade launcher. But I do not like the grenade launcher much. You can see how I have to throw my gears. I'm just not going to do it. I don't know why. It hasn't happened recently. So I think it might partially fix that problem in a recent patch, but the main problem is I almost can't start jumping. Because it, it can remember where the floor is. Also well, almost there, 92% of capacity. It's taken a bit of a beating, but the actual damage it takes is important. Oh, so as an MPA, you put this down as well. This guy's assault. The only reason I chose to play a uh, female character is because the voice is a They've got uh, a very British, slightly posh voice. Which is really good. But the men sound like idiots. They're really ugly. But. Uh, apart from the five tech and apart from the uh, classes, are very. I don't like it. Um, there's been a special outcry at the female engineer who, for some reason, has just got nothing at all on covering one leg. That's a for 18 war toxins. I, I think I think war toxins are relatively uh, not relatively rare, relatively kind of good thing. Whereas the carbon is, is one of the real kind of basic ones. Sifted earth, you can um, search through it and you'll get some stuff. So it's not it's not worthless, but it's considerably less having raw minerals. As you saw they just bought down another thumper. Um, people tend to do that a lot. They don't have to idea of this they don't take it that much their resources here. Um, 
toxins. And to get toxins, they have to refine raw toxins. And so they're pumping for the specific minerals. So they've gone around the area and found that this, current, this area is currently producing decent amounts of this. I want to say 36% decent amounts, but if it's a rare resource, then you have to come make do. Yeah, but this, this, this is a. That was a bit dumb. My gun skills help though, and it's help pickups around here anyway, so. This is a bit too easy because um, this thumper is a personal thumper. It's not really designed for. Uh, what do you mean? It's not really designed for multiple people to take out. So it's really kind of easy. And the wall is kind of so I'm going to go around to the so I want to do is unlock this whole area. So. I'm surprised I haven't yet. But if, if I go to this place and um, use a synap synap link, good. which is like the kind of weird networky thing, it means I'll be able to see what's in that area like I can with these and get like, information about uh, people thumping for things and missions and crash things, basically. So that sounds like a good plan. Gosh, it actually goes all up here. This area is, is currently unavailable. Um, it, it, you can see how it's not really a clear, proper circular area of this area. Um, the reason is, it's all about the energy that these things, the watchtowers are putting out. Basically, yeah, basically the, that kind of thing. For standing there, not be doing anything, I'm going to get some stuff. Interesting. They've added dropships recently, which are meant to be a form uh, of transport. Let's see if being a bit slow now. Yeah. Here's a. Might be a glider pad there. I'm not sure if there is a shame. I'm gonna put up a game. I'm gonna fight this because I feel like it. So. Alright, I gotta get the fuck out of here. AI is a bit dodgy, but they're gonna start attacking soon. Hello. I can actually fly. Okay, that was good. Yeah. I'm sure it isn't really good, but I prefer to raise this chat. So I think these things, uh, the DNA stuff, are quite they're not rare as such, but they're quite valuable. Um, there's always two here, gosh. What's this? I need to see that. Scavenged parts, it's a bit weird for armor in it, so interesting. There's also a kind of lower level one which is um, 
like the spider Iraqi mid thing bobs. It's like an interesting diversion, I guess, where you can just like do that if you feel like it, or if you particularly want that um, right in the DNA. Can, uh, the kind of annoying thing is trying to get cliffs, so you end up trying to do this. And if you aren't able to find a side surface, you're really annoying. Jets have just a bit more oomph. Um, they also get. Um, it's, it's interesting to find that they get worn out a lot faster if you kind of basically hold forward while you're jump uh, while you're using them. So if you press hold space, it goes in quite slowly. Every time I press. Uh, I tried. I probably could go around, but going around is boring. There is full damage, but obviously you're unlikely to take full damage because you're going to use your jets. Oh my gosh, really not looking great. And I think I've just... it's just crashed.